Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My hair is doing really great. I'm Riley. What's up? If you're new, nice to meet ya. I don't want to say subscribe at the beginning because I, f I get annoyed when people say that because it's like I've never seen you before. Why would I subscribe to you if I don't know you yet? So I mean, I'll say it at the end. Like, so if after you watch the video and you're like, it's kind of funny or whatever, then you should subscribe and like this video. So we'll get to that at the end then. Okay. Um, today's video is going to be a high school advice for incoming freshmen. So last year I was brand new to my school. I didn't know anyone. Actually, I knew like one person and uh, that was about it. So it was a little rough, you know. I had volleyball in the summer to kind of start making friends though because tryouts were before school started. But besides that, I came into school on the first day not knowing anyone. And so I had it basically as rough as it gets for people going into high school. So now I'm going into my sophomore year of high school tomorrow. This is the story of a young teen girl finding out and realizing that the very next day she would be going to H.E. Double hockey sticks. But today's video, I'm going to be giving some advice. I wrote down some stuff in my notes, and I feel like I have some really good advice. It's not all the basic stuff. Like, I feel like I really know where it's at, okay? Let's, let's get going, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, I'm not going to say numbers because I already know I will forget what number I'm on. So we just aren't going to do that, okay? But, so this one isn't always true. So obviously, I just want to say at the beginning, whoever you meet, every single person, you always want to be nice to. You never want to act standoffish ever towards anyone. Always be kind, but... The first people you meet may not be the nicest people. They may be the mean popular people. That's just typically how it works. I mean, and whenever I think about it, y'all have been in school before. Like, it's, it's school. It's like middle school too, you know. So, when I think about it, the popular girls or whatever always feel the most um, comfortable speaking because they're the most well-known. By talking a lot, that's how you become popular, I guess. So they feel comfortable talking and whenever I see another new person come in, the first person to talk to them is always the popular girl because they feel comfortable. I keep saying um, popular instead of like mean girl and I don't want to like get people confused because being popular isn't a bad thing. Being well known is actually good. You want people to know who you are. It's just the mean girls. I'm talking about that kind of popular, like the annoying popular. You don't want those type of people to be the crowd you surround yourself with. If you're going to talk to popular people, talk to the nice, well-known people because that kind of popular exists too. I was just being dumb and not thinking. I was only thinking about like the mean popular just to clear things up. Now, this isn't always the case. So like, like I said, always be kind to every single person you meet. But if you start talking to someone and then maybe see their behavior and if they're starting to be mean to people... Maybe just kind of like fade out and meet some new nice people. I don't know. The first people you meet, they could be really sweet. Who knows? They could be awesome. You could meet your best friend on the very first day. They could approach you and then y'all become best friends for the rest of your lives. So obviously it's not always the case. It's, it's just how it's worked for me most of the time, I guess. And other people. I've heard about it before. Okay, this next tip is an education one. It's a really good idea to take the PSAT if your school's offering it to freshmen. You have to pay for it when you're a freshman. Sophomore year, it's required. But freshman year, at my school at least, you were able to pay for it to take it. And it's a really good idea because you get a gist before it's actually important the next year. Yeah, I just recommend doing it. And I actually got a pretty good score on it, even though I didn't take a lot of the classes that it was based off of and I've started already getting college emails and stuff. I've already recorded for eight minutes so that's really great. Okay this next one is don't be super duper focused on grades. You only get to go to high school once so you want to make it fun too. You want to like have the experiences or whatever. You don't just want to like 
study all the freaking time. Like, have fun too. I think there's a balance of both. If you're just balanced on grades, then that's just really stupid. That's just so boring. But if you're also, you don't want to be only focused on having fun because you need good grades. It's just a balance of both. You don't want to have too much of either. When I say experience high school stuff, I mean like going to Sonic with a few friends, not like acting like a 21 year old or something <laughs> just uh, clear that up oh okay next one you don't want to stick to being friends with one group of people my high school is particular 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 <laughs> my high school is pretty small but most high schools are like way bigger than middle school and so you aren't as likely to be in a class with your friends and so you don't just want to stick to that same group of people because if you don't get a class with them you're gonna be like ah, I don't know what to do yeah you want to branch out and become friends with like basically everyone except for the mean people always just avoid the mean people but I think that's like a pretty obvious thing to do this year at school I had a really good experience because and it was my first year here but I made friends in all my classes some of them were so different like some of my friends wouldn't be friends with my other friends it's just just be friends with everyone and then you can have fun in every class. Just be kind to everyone and you'll just, I don't know. Okay, please, please, please do not be the person that like asks for answers every day for like the homework or whatever. Like I understand needing answers. I hope teachers don't watch this. I'm so concerned right now. But like I understand like needing a little help every once in a while if you do sports or something and you were up really late, you just didn't have time to do it. Like sometimes outside of school, you don't have time to do homework. There's other things that are more important. So, you know, so just like do your work. It doesn't, it's not that hard. It's honestly more stressful to not do it and worry about getting answers from other people than to just do it and get by. I don't know. And if you didn't have time to read the book during the summer, if it's summer reading, then just look up spark notes if you're that desperate I don't know okay feel free to should I say next one okay next one feel free to express yourself more in high school people do not care what you wear people don't they're just walking to school like they don't care they're all focused on their own life compared to middle school everyone finds happiness in middle school out of like making fun of other people in high school you see so much less of that High school is a better place to start expressing yourself and just like finding who you are because people don't really care as much if you're changing who you are because they're just worried about their own business. Next, you're a freshman. So, I mean, I think the way that freshmen, especially on sports teams, the way they get treated is like kind of annoying. Like, I get it. I was that literally like three months ago. I was considered a freshman. But you don't want to act like you're all that. Just because you're in high school does not mean you're suddenly older. In fact, it's kind of like going into sixth grade again. You're like the youngest person out there. I don't know, but... Okay, this next one is a, a good one, okay? Um, don't let your happiness depend on a boy or a group of friends you have, like getting into a clique or whatever. Find happiness in your own ways. If you're going to let it depend on a boy, first of all, when you break up, you're going to be like freaking depressed. And... Another thing is just, like, don't worry so much about having a boyfriend through high school or whatever. Like, if you meet someone, then that's fine. But also, you don't need a boyfriend to have the high school experience. Just chill out. A lot of people do, um, stuff their freshman year. <laughs> don't do it. Like... Like, just don't. Just wait. It's... That doesn't have to be a part of your high school experience. That's what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> Fading out of that stuff. Take a deep breath. If you fail a test, it's just a number and it's not going to matter in 20 years. In fact, probably not 10, maybe even 5 years. It's not going to matter. It won't even matter the next semester if not the next grading period one test does not matter but now 
if you're getting that number on all your tests, then it probably is a problem and you need to go to tutoring, you need to fix it. But don't stress a ton about it. I don't know. Grades are so weird to me. I'm like, where do they go? Who even cares? Like, it just kind of freaks me out. Like, do they really matter that much? I don't know. Oh, okay. Don't think that because you're a little older, you can start going to bed at 11 p.m. <laughs> For me, I need so much sleep to be pleasant and awake, to be learning. I can... I cannot. I would literally go to bed at 8.30. Get some sleep. And this is another thing. Sleep is more important than studying until 2 a.m. If you study until 2 a.m., the studying was worth nothing. Because first of all, you were probably tired and you didn't get it all in. And you're going to be tired. Okay, I'm back. I peed. Okay, next one. Okay. If the bell rang already and you're... In the hallway, not in the classroom. There's no reason to run to class and look weird. Sorry, okay? You want to try and make, like, well, you should have more than one friend in each class, I guess, if you want. But try and make one friend in each class that you feel comfortable talking to if you're confused about the work that you're doing. So maybe not someone that you're, like, best friends with. Like, just someone that you're maybe is a little smarter than you if you're really trying to get good grades but if you're confused it sucks to be alone and just confused in class especially if you're afraid to raise your hand which you shouldn't be but if you are I get it make a friend that you can sit next to and just like be like um do you understand this you know it's just really helpful especially in like your difficult classes right at the beginning of the year start talking to people and making friends it's really scary. This is for new people, I guess, or whatever, you know. If you start talking to people early, they're going to get to know who you are. You'll kind of get known, especially if you're new. It's really scary for, like, everyone to be like, who's the new girl? Just be outgoing. I kind of used going to a new school. At my old school, I was kind of seen as, like, shy, I guess. And so I kind of used it as an opportunity to kind of be a little bit more outgoing and talk to people more. Okay, this clip made me think of something else that I forgot to say later on. But, so, I was a new kid, you know, and if any of y'all are also, um, I was so terrified of going to school on the first day not knowing anyone. Because, first of all, first day of high school is stressful anyway, like, no matter what. Whenever you don't have anyone to talk to about, like, hey, where do I go get my schedule? It's, like, even more scary. So... Basically, I was so mad about having to go to a new school. I wanted to go to the high school that I was supposed to go to and I expected to go to since I was in elementary school. Even though I had terrible experiences at, in elementary and middle school, I was just so used to it that I just kind of wanted to stay because I didn't want to have to meet new people. I didn't, it was like I was like keeping myself from something good and so I ended up having to go to this new school obviously and it turned out to be like the best thing ever I'm so much happier than I was at my middle school so I don't know if you're in that same place it turns out so much better and like it might seem bad at the moment but it's actually probably gonna turn out for the better so last one I said this is a really bad one to end on. I think I need to think of a new one because it's kind of dumb. But I said watch the news. Um, I remember I my favorite thing to do on school mornings. I'm so excited to do it tomorrow morning. I'm going to sound like a grandma. But I wake up, I make myself my coffee, and then I sit down on the couch and I watch the news. And it is the most, it's, it's, it was just the best part of my day and I miss it so much. I, I'm actually so excited for tomorrow that's not the only reason so watching the news helped me a lot in geography it was, it was just helpful because you know what's going on yeah um what's another one i need to think of another one that was a bad one to end up oh oh my god why did i not write that down i definitely thought it um take a blow off class i, I that might sound like i'm a bad influence but Taking a blow-off class was the best decision, not in my entire life, but in my freshman year, maybe not. It was just a really good decision, okay? So I took mine as um, World Geography. I started off the year in pre-AP, which 
if you don't know, pre-AP is like K-level or level one or whatever. It's like the higher level of the class and then there's regular. So I took pre-AP World Geography at the beginning and I literally had an 87, which isn't that bad, especially knowing that you get 20 points added to your GPA or not GPA, like you get 20 points added to your grade at the end of the year. But I was so stressed. Like you had to read every night, you had quizzes like every day basically. And it was just, it was just stupid. So I transferred over to regular world geography and it was so easy. I had a 99 average the entire year, which was, it was better to see on my grade book than an 87. It made me feel better if that justifies transferring. Um, it was a really easy class. I would finish my work within like the first 15 minutes of class. Our teacher was like, well, our teacher like left in the middle of the year. It was kind of weird, but he was like a football coach. And so football coaches don't really care most of the time. And so it was just really fun. And I would finish all my work in the first 15 minutes of class. And then I would just get the rest of the time to talk to my friends and stuff. And it was such a fun class. Like, I, I like, looked forward to that class because it was just really fun and easy. So it was, like, my chill class that I could just do whatever I want. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful if you are starting new. And just know that it's going to be good. Okay? High school is really fun. And... I don't know, it's just more fun than middle school. Middle school freaking sucks, and then you go into high school. I don't want to give you too high of expectations, but it's pretty freaking great. I loved high school my first year. Yeah. Have a nice day. Um, if you liked this video, or if you like my personality, then you should subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if you really liked my personality, then you can click that little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time I post. A video, I feel like I'm talking really fast, but whatever. Okay, thank you for watching my video, and, you know, bye. Peace out.